I got to upload some videos from this week. I think I got like three of them. I just thought about it. I'm perfect and I'm hopeful that you're perfect too. I thought today would be a perfect time for me to come on and talk about energy and energy exchange. All things in energy frequency and vibration. And today is going to be the day before I go on a break from TikTok. I'm going to take a little time off for flow. To recalibrate. To do things outside of my business. To do what I want to do. All is well. Did some community service today. That's beautiful. And that's what I want to talk about. Um, giving and receiving and how it's an energy exchange and how it should go. Just like that. Exchange. Receive. Give. Receive. Give. Flow. Alignment. Those are the type of things I want to talk about today. Because when you are in alignment... Y'all that's here, t could y'all tap the screen uh, about 20 times for me right quick to get some more people up in this room um, so they could be notified. Could you tap the screen so we could get to like um, 500 likes right quick to get some more people up in here so they could be notified because I don't want to keep on having to start off at the beginning. Tap the screen for me right quick to get, get us to 500 right quick. All is well. That's perfect. We had 300. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Give and receive. Thank you for tapping the screen to get us just to 500 and not get started when we get to 500. So I don't have to keep repeating myself. Giving and receiving and being in alignment. This is about relationships. This is about relationship with other people. This is going to be about a relationship that you can have with yourself. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the 500. So they're coming. And if not, they'll, the ones that don't show up, they'll, they'll get it on my YouTube channel. But that's a good start for now. So today I want to talk about energy exchange. This week in particular, I felt this here message. This was a message that correlated with my soul. Yes, we must do us. Yes, entrepreneurs. Yes, Creole. That's about what I'm about to talk about. This correlated with my soul, my inner being. Matter of fact, I got a reading today, uh, the, the other day, and I don't get readings. You know, somebody was, you know, doing free readings. I was just supporting them, and I was just going to look. I mean, listen, and she did a free reading on me, and she told me that um, self-care is what the card was, taking care of self. And at that particular day, I had woke up that morning, and I decided not to even do my products until 12 noon. That I stayed in pajamas. I was like, you right on it. You're right on it because I'm just chilling out. I'm just relaxing. I ain't going live. And, and, and that was my reading for the day. But that has been energetically my message for this week. Hey, Unbox. That's been my message for this week as an entrepreneur, a business creator, a manifester. Even, even earlier today, this morning, I did a chakra class this morning. And, and I was faced with this here same message about the exchange of energy you know it's really really beautiful when we have a passion it's beautiful when we are able to speak to people and even with the lives so i haven't got to the point with my lives where i'm like i'll take a break and i'll say y'all it's community i'm in communion time it's offering time or however i use it at that time to say it's time to to give back so tap the screen i'll say because i know that i am giving and so i know that would flow with even exchange if i'm giving i should be receiving and so that's why i want you all to comment not because i want to be famous on no tiktok i'm an introvert no 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 i want to feel that flow energetically is what i'm saying you look tired yeah it's in your eyes yes i am sending an uplifting energy your way but i'm going i'm about to leave and be off of tiktok for a couple of weeks but before i go <laughs> All week long, this has been on my heart. This has been my energy, my message, and, and being at you or my reflections. If you've been ignoring this message, normally, if you were my reflection, normally, if you're catching a message from me, you are on like frequency with me, like energy with me. That's how you picked up on my signal here. So my message is pay attention to that even exchange so you could always be in flow. See, oftentimes, even me as a content creator, and this goes in every aspect of my life, me as a content creator, me speaking for my inner being, my soul essence, I'll ignore the screen and I'll tap into my inner being. 
Now, my inner being, I have the ability to charge myself mentally from my inner being because my inner being stays in constant alignment with self and is able to charge me back up. But then when I come over here and I'm back in the body, in my physical essence, if the people that I'm speaking to, they're looking at me because the message went over their head in zombie mode and they don't have the ears that are hearing my message. It's almost like my message hits the screen. And it just comes back to me. Like, right? This is equivalent to in the biblical text when they say that we have ears and we're not hearing and eyes, we're not seeing. This is equivalent to the parable of said that was said, don't cast your pearls amongst the swine. Right? <laughs> So it is so important that you vibe around like-minded people because of this. It's so important that we cater our messages to people that are on our frequency and above and stop trying to come down down here and save and save because truly we are noting we are nothing if we not keep in alignment with our inner being because our inner being is tapped into infinite intelligence and recharging us so when we come come to different platforms or to different spaces of energy frequency saying that oh i, I gotta i gotta go save her i gotta go listen to her her chaotic story i gotta go and do this and that and the third no, no, no. Really, what you got to do is be still and know that I'm God. And in doing that, you got to be in flow with all that you're doing. In doing that, if you if you like a business owner, for example, you got to be in flow with that, being happy with that. And also doing and creating that thing and knowing when to take a break from that. Because even if you're doing your passion, it can get to a place where, where you're in alignment with doing your passion. You now feel drained because you ain't take a break. This week, I was so busy filling orders, preparing for a chakra class. I'm guilty of this and I'm telling you reflections because I want you to always be better. I want you to always know how to stay in the line. I was getting ready for a chakra class. I was I was making these things, herbs and all for a client. I was I was just coming back in the country, so I was trying to get settled, and I was working on um, my retreat for Sedona, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, and I'm packing orders. I had so many orders this week that some days that I didn't get a chance to go outside and listen. You all that follow me and been following me for a while know that I like to listen to the hummingbirds. I didn't have time to see my hummingbird. I didn't have time to sit in the sun and be recharged. Because it's like, oh no, I got too much to do. I'm gonna just sit right here and I'm gonna just look. If I if I look this year, what? This is me looking outside. I'll just look outside as they pass, and I won't. I, but I'm I deprive myself of this energy exchange, like right. But what I'm saying to you, it's about flow. It's about flow. Don't forget a flow. The flow because flow keeps you in alignment. You gotta allocate that time for your flow. To create that harmonious union with yourself is sometimes it's time to give, but then aching to me receiving is me going sit outside and recharging. Aching to me receiving is knowing when to shut up on my live and, and, and say, hey, y'all, I'm going to need y'all to tap the screen because I, I want to receive too. I want to participate in this energy exchange. And this shows up. Oftentimes, I was speaking in the class earlier about chakra pools of energy. So let's go to the lower chakra. Let's go to sex. Let's go to energy exchange. It's for that because a lot of people, for a lot of people might not be conscious on this here life. So I want to relate to something all of you all could understand. So in the physical reality, they have people that just like to, you know, just like release, release with different people, you know, release their sexual desire with different people. You know, you when you're, when you're a babe in Christ, so to speak, you it feels good in the physical. So you want to do that thing that's feeling good to your lower self like right and so you just release and you release and you release and basically this is a person that never found themselves yet so they're equivalent really to the religious person the church person who's telling being taught about agape love you know they just want to give 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 their love thinking okay if i keep on giving this year i'm gonna get to heaven Okay, and so the person that's that's uh, that lower self is for is I'm gonna keep on releasing, releasing, releasing. Then, 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 yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the ladies' man. 
I'm going to be validated and somebody's going to like me because I'm giving of myself. But that is not a harmonious balance. And those two people, whether they trying to give from agape love, but they had lower self and they don't love themselves. Or they're trying to release in certain people so somebody could love them. They're both not receiving. So that ain't an even exchange. And they both can create and will, if they keep that up, create this ease and this harmony because that ain't flow. That ain't flow. That's one side of God expressing when God should be expressing both sides of itself because God is the totality of both giving and receiving. Right? So you gotta, so, so for the person that likes to just release all of their little semen and just, just hit it and quit it, it comes a moment in their life where they sit with self because God must experience self and realize, man, I'm just going through these bodies. I'm, I'm, I feel like an empty vessel now. I done created this ease and disharmony within my sacral chakra, within my lower self because of this. This take being accountable. This take not being the victim no more. This take, this take healing from that trauma for them to even realize that. This might even take lifetimes for that person. Even for that person who thought they was just being God. Yeah, they were just giving, giving, giving. They realized one day, man, everybody just to walk through me. And people just took from me. And I didn't get to receive. These two beings that I'm talking about, they're not in perfect union or in alignment with their inner being at all. They're looking for these things outside of themselves. And so when you're not in alignment, when you're not in flow, <laughs> You cause, or we cause our own dis-ease, is what I'm saying here. And that goes, that goes to, to, to even to a point where, you, where we're talking about you're not in flow because you're not around the like-minded energies that you're vibrating on. When you're not in flow, that message, you know, sometimes, sometimes I will speak. I will speak, like when I'm on my lives, I speak, and I'm speaking from my inner being and I'm being charged up and I get off my life <laughs> and I'm amped that whole day I'm just like amped I mean amped like you'll think you'll think that I I I'm on something like I took maybe maybe antidepressant or something but that amped up feeling creates dimethyltryptamine and it wires me and fires me throughout my day because I stayed in alignment with my inner being. But then there's sometimes in my past where where I, I spoke and I didn't know how to keep that alignment with my inner being and I get off the live and I was drained. I was drained because I was feeling all of the other energy from other things, other people that was listening, or other people that were still in their sleep and their slumber. And I didn't know how to balance those energies. This could happen no matter where you are because if being honest, for me being honest in this moment, this week, this has happened to me because I was doing so much instead of being. And it is about the being, not the doing. And I feel this to the core. So I'm walking away from you all because I, 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 live this life this is a lifestyle and i know one thing i know me because i've been inside of me so this is why i'm walking away letting you all know it's gonna be a while before you see me a couple of weeks before you see me because i'm going to get back to just being because i'm being pulled here and there and i, I think you know when you get to this place that means it's time to come on inside that means you've been out here, you was, you was helping them, you was doing this here. And yes, I can stay here with these reflections and deal with myself through mindfulness and meditation practices and get my energy the way that I want it to be and stay. But what I'm saying here is I don't want to. I want to go away for a while and be about my father's business, right? I want to go away for a while and get some things that is precious, that's meaningful to me done. You see, this is very important when you're in a spiritual journey, when you're dealing with passion, 
because your passion and your purpose, this, this way, this love that you have for other people, it could become stressful to your body too, just like that nine to five was, just like corporate America was. If you don't get a hold of it and know how you feel real, really matters, even in your spiritual walk. No, 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 we ain't doing consultations next week. Mm -mm. No, 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 we ain't going to be live next week. Well, where is God is just be? Oh, she, she going to just be just being. And so I'm encouraging you to understand this and never, never forsake your inner being, no matter what you are building, not for the money, not for the people outside saying, oh, come on, do this here team. No, it's equivalent to you being in a relationship. You in a relationship with somebody that you know maybe that's damaged. And sometimes we're there when we were at our lower self. We did this all the time. We got in a relationship with somebody that we knew was damaged. And here we are. We in this, we in this relationship with this person that we know we that is damaged, but we done figured out, okay, if how do I love a person that's damaged? Oh, I know by not being their next disappointment. Oh, 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 I, I know by not being a leash for them and, and um, a leech for them and sucking and draining them like the last people did. Oh, 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 I know, I know. Just love them and see them through the eyes of God and love them unconditionally. Now, that's all cool and fine and dandy by doing that for that hurt person. But if you're doing that and you are just giving and giving and every time that damaged person turns around, they're saying it's your fault and they're just hitting on you like you are punching bag. And they are blaming you for, for all of the other chaotic energies that they experienced in their past. You getting a blame and a hit from all them other people because they're still looking at you through the eyes of the other people that hurt, hurt them. Then now you, you are not in a harmonious flow with this person. And that relationships become, those type of relationships become a strain on you. This is why they talk about in the biblical text about being with equally yoked partners. <laughs> equally yoked, symbolic of not just being in alignment with them on the same frequency as them, but, but this energy exchange is, is transforming to them and then it bounces back off to you, to them, and then it bounces back off to you. This is, this is back to what I was saying about the Lord self, the person that hitting it and quitting it and just using all of their juices, just releasing on this one and that and another, they left their juices all over the place. They left it all over the place. They done gave up their essence and it's all over the place. But if they were in a harmonious, equally yoked union, where they found themselves, they knew themselves because they went inside of themselves and then they had sex with their partner. Guess what happens when you, you're having sex with your partner that you're equally yoked? That 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 figure eight <laughs> is cycling back to you. You think you're releasing in there? Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't just releasing and just giving away. You are receiving it back too. They breath in your breath is an energy exchange. Their orgasm, then your orgasm. They look, you look them in their eyes, in their soul, and they look at you through your eyes and your soul. So it's an even exchange. All things are energy, frequency, and vibration. I want you to understand this in relationships. I want you to understand this when people talking to you. So when you, that's why when you talking to somebody, then they just like listening and you know that they're not comprehending the thing that you're saying. And they change the subject and maybe they walked off. You feel like you weren't heard. You feeling the fact that that was not an even exchange. Stop wasting your time on those things. That is meaningless energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You upload it to their subconscious mind. But you want to be more present. Like, like during the day, I really don't go to people, up to people telling them these type of things. I just hit the button on TikTok. This here energetic exchange... I love sitting in these type of energetic exchanges because I know the people that's going to pass through here, they need to hear this thing. These are the type of people that act through their subconscious mind. The ones that's coming today, they're asking why, 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 why am I getting drained around so-and-so? Why, 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 
Why every time I talk to this person? Why why in this relationship we don't feel like we equally yo? Why? Only the people that's really done asked the question. Why? That are really ready for this message is going to come through here because energetically they have asked through their subconscious mind and asked you shall receive. Energetically, those are the ones that need the message. The other ones, they probably pass through and then they're going to walk up out of here because they're not ready and the message is going over their head. Goodbye to you. Thanks for passing through. <laughs> Because what feels good the most is when you around that like-minded being. What feels good to the most is when you are in flow. You are giving a message. Then, then the message is not losing its substance because it is registering to somebody. And being that it's registering it to them, it bounces back. That receptive side of them, it bounces back to you. And then you give them more. And they receive more. Giving and receiving is so important in your spiritual journey. It's so important. And I'm not talking just about money here. That is, there is other ways people could give. Listening is such an underrated communication skill. That's part of receiving. That's part of giving. If you sit, like, if someone was talking to me and me and me just listening to them, I'm receiving. I'm receiving. That's a beautiful thing when somebody is trying to, to share with you the larger part of them. To share with you consciousness, something that's going to help you for your larger part, for your soul essence. That's really important. But oftentimes when we don't, when we when we're dealing with some of our low energy reflection beings. Listening becomes, oh, let me wait for my turn to speak. <laughs> let me just wait for my turn to speak. So, you, so, so, because they understand, you know, I can't talk and listen at the same time. So, when, when they stop talking, I'm going to go ahead and say what I got to say. Because what I got to say, it, 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 seeming to me, it means more than what they're saying to me. But it's about listening digesting that thing receiving that thing and giving back energetically to that person or that energy that just gave you a substance a piece of them so if you are I don't care if you do your college there's no respect to person all this God experience in itself I don't care if you're a card reader I don't care if you do the Christian. We all have the gifts of different ways to tap in to source energy. I don't care if it's through consultations. I don't care if it's through things that you create. If you are a giver, know when to sit back and receive. Know when to take a break from your own self, from experiencing your own self. Because just like with prayer, when we pray, we're asking. It's an even exchange. But then when we shut our mouth up, we should be in a receiving mode. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It's simply transforming from one form or another. And all day long, we are either emitting and receiving sometimes doing both at the same time but you gotta make sure your energy in all aspects of life is doing that and if it is not you pull up out of here and you recharge yourself you pull up out of here and you take a break from all these things outside of yourself that may be pulling from you you pull up out of there because at your best you are loved and you are a powerful source. But when you start to dwindle away and your frequency starts to get a little low and you notice it, that means that's your internal GPS saying, uh, 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 you need to recharge. You need to get up out of there. And I suggest you do this. And I'm going to show you how to do this because you ain't going to see. You're going to hear crickets chirping for me for a moment. But before I go, I just want to let you know this, yeah? I have some other things that I have already planned to do, but in the midst of doing, doing these things, I'm not going to be on TikTok. 
I'm going to be recharging for me, for my greater good. Ain't no money in this world, baby, in the physical reality that's going to stop me from being in alignment with me because I know this thing. Because I know energetically if I'm not at my highest of frequency that I halt my manifestations, the ones that I really, really want. Oh, I can manifest and I can create from this point, but it'll be kind of like wobbly when I'm at my lower self. It won't be the really, really powerful energetic manifestations. Now, easily enough, a nap can recharge me because I know how to center myself. Herbs can recharge me. Mindfulness, meditation can recharge me. But I'm pulling all, I'm calling, you know how they say, I'm calling back my energy. This is me. I'm about to show you how you do it. And so you see me now, you feel my energy now. And so when I come back, you'll see a different energetic light version of me. Because what I'm doing today, I'm showing you this part of the journey too. I am calling back my energy. From everywhere that I poured it in, all of that knowledge, all of that mindfulness, all of that health and wellness, I'm calling it back. I'm going, it's mine because I need it. I'm recharging myself with it. <laughs> I'm putting myself back on the throne. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes it seems energetically as if, like, wait, wait, I got to tell him this, and I got to do this, and I got to do this. No, 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 no. Remember, remember, God, you can't afford to experience you when life is happening through you. Remember to stay true first to you. Stay true. Everything else outside of you going to work itself out. If you don't work you out at all times, God, you are not good for nobody else. This is why, this is why I teach when I do consultations. I tell them people it ain't about, it ain't about that relationship with them. It's, 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 it's about the fact that they showing you that the relationship that you have with you. And so if you keep pouring and pouring and not recharging and getting overwhelmed like you used to. Because see, I got myself set. I got my set, myself set on, on being grounded. That's why energetically, why I moved out here to Arizona. I, because I understood when I got out here, I realized, wait, it rains a whole lot in New Orleans, Louisiana. It have, they have hurricanes in this land of dirt. Oh, okay, out here, the sun is, 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 is powering me up. The soil is so rich. I could easily get grounded out here. I could easily stay focused. Nature is so beautiful here. So I set my program on being outside, <laughs> being connected. But I done got to a point where, where, where orders last week and consultations last week and, and helping other people and classes last week had me inside. And I'm like, well, hold up here. Hold up here. Hold, uh, 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 uh. I will let no thing, I don't care how much money you offer me, I will let no thing separate me from the love of God, from the love of myself. And I only came live to show you and teach you this here part. Don't you let no thing in. Don't you let no thing either because you are good for nothing. If they say in the biblical text, you are the salt of the earth. If the salt loses savor, wherefore will it be salted? You'll be good for nothing but to be trampled over by men. You'll begin to give your message to people who ain't receiving it. And then you feel drained instead of being amped up afterwards because you can feel that they didn't receive, but yet you was pouring in. So now you got to go back to your inner being. You got to, you got to connect with your inner being to charge yourself back up to your inner being state of being. Because one thing that's so beautiful about this year is that your inner being knows how to stay in alignment at all times. Your inner being knows how to do that. This is how you'll get a feeling or a signal. This is how I right now know it's time. It's time for me to recharge. In this right now moment, I know this to be true because I feel like hmm, I should be. I did a class today. Why I ain't jumping up off the walls? I did a class this morning. Why I ain't? Why? Why this kitchen ain't top notch clean? Because normally when I do a class, normally when I do a live, I'm so energetic. But that signal that I'm getting right now, lets me know. Oh, you, 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 you got a lot going on. 
Because how you feel, if you ain't feeling that sense of bliss, that sense of love, that sense of before, that sense, that sense of alignment like your inner being is feeling at all times, when you don't feel that, that's your internal GPS saying, up, increase your frequency, up, go in. It's time for you to go in and recharge. Because up, you slipping, you, 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 you sitting up there giving. Now it's time for you to receive from your source. This is all I'm saying. Don't forget about that important self, the important part of self, and take care of you. And all you're getting if this conscious journey, get to know and understand you. Because this is not work. This is you playing the game of life. You having a good time along the way. But you ultimately getting to know you. And when you're getting to know you, you will know when you are off a little notch. Because I'm not saying I'm sad. I'm not saying I'm depressed. I'm just saying energetically a notch of me. It's not. No, no, no. I, I, I would have did a whole lot more today. <laughs> I, I know what we rule up. That's that's me. See, this is part of the conscious journey that a lot of people don't talk about. Getting to know self. It ain't about no, no, let me protect my energy. It ain't about, oh, because she made me do this here. And they got me down like this. No, no, it's about getting to know myself. Like, self, you all right? Like, legs, why you ain't moving, man? What, what's going on with y'all? I know y'all. I know y'all be briskly walking around up in here. Yeah? On a Saturday, well, what's going on? Because I know you already. Because I've been inside of you already. I know when you are off. I know when you're slighted just a little tiny bit. This is part of getting to know you at a cellular level, at a thought level. Like, oh, you, you, wait, hold up. Wait, what he's saying is you been, you ain't been, you ain't been just being like you had your name on TikTok. So you done did a little lot of doing in this week. Yeah, but we ain't gonna get back to just being. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing a lot of doing. I saw you. And you was tired of me. You stand up to four o'clock in the morning. Oh, Mr. Long, um, excuse me. We want to sleep like you used to sleep. This is what your inner being might be saying if you went through this here week like I did. Um, we want to go outside in the sun and watch those hummingbirds and experience and love through them and, and let them watch them fly. You know, kind of like you used to. See, because we're alive too. Your inner being be saying that. We are alive too at a cellular level. The molecules, the atoms, the particles, because all things are energy, frequency, and vibration. And so when you... Bring us to that level. We're doing it because we we expect that you know how to recharge us. And you ain't been doing the things that, that recharge us. So could could you could you stop all that doing? Because we just energy. We want to be again. We want to be still and know. Hi, I am. We want to be still and know. And so this is the part of this, this, this uh, that I, on the back end, don't really, really share about this conscious journey. I, this week, because I had been busy, I had in it consciously been posting a lot of regular little videos on my Goddess Just Be or my Goddess Just Be Healthy page because I've been doing. But outside of that, here's one thing that I want you all to understand under the sound of my voice too, is the fact that <laughs> regardless if I was here live posting videos on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook wherever it is with all of my knowing that everything out here is perfect right? when you get conscious you know you know that there's a so called yin and yang you know this law of polarity and so this is something that in my mind, because of my programming, because of my knowing that all things are working out for the greater good of the all, <laughs> that I often say before I post a video, and sometimes I have, I have videos that I'll just delete, because in my mind I'll say this thing, well, everybody's getting what they want. I know everything's perfect. I don't need to do those things. All I really do, what you really need from me, it's what I'm saying here. 
what you need from me is whether I am here or whether I delete this here page completely because I've deleted pages before. At my peak on Facebook, 90,000 people. I just walked away from that because of this one thing. Because I know that all things are working out. And because what you all really need from me the most is my energy of me being in alignment. You ain't nothing else. Because we energy, frequency, and vibration. So if I delete this app and I decided to just be still and know that I'm God and just be in my little hermit mode if I decided to just be and just and just have this here in my head as memories only when I practice my mindfulness you're gonna still feel me when I am being still knowing that I am that I am you're gonna still feel me why is that because we are collective consciousness why is that because all we are is energy frequency and vibration so this actually caters to my point in telling you that at my best that's when I can give to you but when I or you or spiritually or energetically at this ease you can't give to nobody all you have to do in that moment is take a break pull back your energy and save yourself Save yourself. There's so many people in the physical reality walking around looking for a savior. But they're it. And they have to save themselves. And this is how you save yourself. By getting yourself back into alignment again. It's like, oh, 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 yeah. You hurting? Oh, oh, you, you in pain? Oh, you experiencing disease? Oh, you about to, they, they put you in the hospital, huh? It could be all of these waves and winds blowing and all of these reflections going through this year and that and the third pulling for, from you. But you cannot and you will not be able to heal them unless you had your best. Unless you in alignment. If the Christ conscious one in that parable had not been in alignment at its best, he would have never felt the person with the issue of blood that touched and took up his essence because he wouldn't have had enough of essence to give them at your best you are of service to others but when those others drain you get up out of there see we taught we taught this too kind of energetically in religion where they say i'm just a soldier in the army of the lord as if you gotta put in work is you, you gotta be at war and if you have to be this long suffering type energy no 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 don't you believe in that hype no 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 don't don't believe in that thing <laughs> you talking to me yeah don't you believe in that don't believe in that there no pull up out of there pull up out of there go be about your father's business get up out of there and get back in alignment with yourself i love you too babe thank you for the rose and the follow Get an alignment with yourself so you could be good for all of your reflections. Stay in alignment. That's the most important thing for you to do is stay in alignment. Hey, hey, she know. Stay in alignment with who you truly are. That's when you have something to give. That's when you're receiving from your inner being. If, they, if the people that you're giving to ain't giving you nothing, you stay in alignment with it. And you'll be fine. But they have conscious people. And I've seen them myself. And you know TikTok and the physical reality. If you don't practice mindfulness. You will allow TikTok to have you on this app. With these algorithms. And you trying to participate in. Oh I got to stay live for a couple of hours. Because I want to be at the top. And I got to play this game. You know the little battle game. With all of these other um creators because I want to battle and I want to get the likes and the gifts and I want to do this and I got to post six times a day because I want I want the, the algorithm to bring more people to come to my page because yeah because I got a business it's business and you know in business you're supposed to work hard you were taught no no baby no 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 the real business the real energetic energy that's going to allow things to come to you happens when you are in alignment with you 
I saw, I saw there's this little uh, white lady. And I just saw this here this morning when I was waking up and I happened to open up TikTok. They had this little Caucasian lady and she made, she make hats. She make hats. And she only make them like two hats a day. These little glitter hats. And, you know, I ain't into what Beyonce do. Bless her heart. You know, she, she was maybe on a tour or something. She, in, in another words, Beyonce bought one of this little, these little hats from this little Caucasian lady. And maybe she wore it on a tour, on an album cover or whatever, wherever she went. Cause I ain't go to see her with no hat on. Anyway, she, she bought the hat from this little lady that made two hats a day. And the lady, the lady was telling the people, you know, the, 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 the advertisement was saying that the lady fumbled the bag because, you know, she, she had to shut down her site or whatever, or she had to, she had to, she was supposed to get to these other people. She was supposed to get all these people, all these people to work for her, to take her craft, her gift from her, her alignment from her to do it faster. Cause people like Beyonce and other people wanted, wanted her hat. But the lady was saying, no, this is. What I love to do. This is what I take pride in doing. I'm not going to rush for y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to cause this ease and this harmony for y'all. If you want one faster than what I could do, what I can do for you is jack up the price for you and, and make it readily avail available for you first and you will skip the line of all of them. But what I am not going to do energetically is make you have you make me go against my flow. Go against me being in alignment. Because this is my baby here. You know, would you, would, would a lot of people that look in from outside don't understand. When you're doing these type of things, these type of things that you're passionate about, they help keep you in alignment, the thing itself. But it be the people that's a tied, tied and attached that say, hurry up. And you got mine and this and that and third. These other people, reflections. They can bring that, that wobble to you. It's not the crap itself. It be the people that be tied to it with them different personalities. It be, it be that subconscious thinking, those thoughts that can seep up in there through people, through people in their little avatar self, just like the biblical text, the 12 disciples. <laughs> The ones that were close to the Christ consciousness, one of them was the ones that, that gave him the hardest time. One of you will betray me. It be the people. Now, now the Christ conscious one was on a journey of ascension. But and to have somebody close to him like that in this allegory text lets me know that there are people, personality traits in our subconscious thinking that be in there as stumbling blocks and they gotta come forth because you gotta purge this side of yourself too they gotta come forth in your reality to show you a part of you too so when you wobble there go your subconscious thinking there go one of your reflection that's ready to get up in that avatar and show you where you was wobbling at and it's, it all works out for your greater good because it all helps you to get back into alignment with yourself. So everything that I went through today just with indicators like, oh, you out of alignment like this here and you out of alignment like this because you ain't do this. You ain't look at no hummingbird. And guess what? They don't have no um, hummingbird feeder um, juice up in there. You ain't even been outside. You ain't even seen the sun. And up, 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 up. And this is happening. And that's happening. And this is happening. And you're not going to sleep like you used to. And you're sleeping at 4 o'clock in the morning. And you're getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning and you just do it and do it and do it and we got to tell you this we got to send you an indicator to let you know that you ain't being no more we got to give you this even in your dreams we got to let you know that you are busy by because a dream come to show you who you are and how you're vibrating and where your frequency is wobbling at in your physical reality so because of that we, we got we got to show you you now when we show you 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 got to remember that you got to do work on you <laughs> to get you back in line because you told us you wanted to play the game of life and to show us, to, to show you you. And so when you get the indicator that you're out of alignment, just, just, just fix yourself. Take a break. Be easy with yourself. Get back in alignment. Get back with flow. And, 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 and rinse again, rinse and repeat again, and stay in as long. See, the thing about this journey is even conscious people, even conscious people like myself, 
what they, you know, everybody want to be so perfect in consciousness, but we fall in and out of alignment. We fall, we fall in and out of alignment. I'm guilty of this here too. You're guilty of this here too. In and out. Thought by thought by thought. You can't say that you stay 100% in alignment at all times because you will have a thought. Because all of your thoughts ain't pleasant thoughts. You will have a thought. And that thought is showing you up. You jumped out. And all you got to do to fix that or get back in alignment or get back with flow is have another positive thought. Just let them flow through you and don't hold on to them. Just go down that stream of least resistance and don't sit up there and fight the waves and the current. If I, if I were to fight, I create disease and disharmony or resistance in my spiritual realm. Let's stop fighting. Let's surrender. Because surrendering is easy. Surrendering is flow. Surrendering, you're going to get right where you want to be. Surrender is going to bring you back to shore. But make sure there's an even exchange in your journey so you can stay in flow. That's my message today. I want you to, 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 to remember this message while, while I'm absent from TikTok for a few weeks. And for those of you who are considering purchasing something, I'm closing my website too. Because I'm about to go into a flow. I have some business opportunities ahead for me. My life is changing thought by thought by thought, moment by moment by moment. And for me right now in my life, it's like I'm going down that, 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 that stream really, really fast. But I want to enjoy my journey too. Every last part of it. And I want to be at my best to receive all of these manifestations that are on the way that are presenting themselves to me right in front of my face and understand that I'm sharing this vulnerable message this heartfelt message to you because maybe you've experienced it or maybe you right there on the verge of experiencing it make sure you are feeling good along the way make sure you go on with flow along the way when you're closing down the site later on today maybe the, uh, later on today about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight early tomorrow at the latest I wish you nothing but the best same here and I'm not leaving everyone that I'm tied to everything that I really love is, is really here with the people because I'm really passionate about helping people but there's so much more in my physical reality, there's so there's not just these people that I help. There's the people that I mentor. There's 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 the people who I do consultations with. There's Facebook. There's Instagram. There's YouTube. There's me shipping and receiving. <laughs> there's me traveling. You know. There's me as a mom. There's me as a daughter. There's me as a friend. There's me as a lover. There's so much of me. That you all, because I don't share my business because I'm an introvert. There's so much of me that goes out. Y'all don't see this here. Y'all don't see the long conversations. Y'all y'all come and y'all be like, oh, where you far from? Something about your voice or whatever. But you all don't see that a lot of my days, I am always speaking, whether it's through a class, consulting, mentoring. So my, my, my truth, sometimes in my physical it's tired. Sometimes to me, I just want to tell me, girl, shut up. <laughs> but my voice, my my voice is my passion. It's tied to my passion and my, my so-called calling, my so-called tool that I use energetically to speak life and to other people. But sometimes they need a break too. Sometimes I just want to shut up. Sometimes I walk around and I act like I don't know nothing. I've been posted this, but maybe you didn't get the gist of it. Sometimes y'all thought it was funny when I said on the TikTok, y'all were laughing in the comments, but I was so serious. I told y'all one day on no TikTok, I said, you know what? I like to play dumb. Yeah, play dumb. It feels good. Everybody have, like to help a little dumb, man. Play dumb. You just don't be dumb. So sometimes I get put myself in that mode where, 
I don't. I don't want. I don't want to talk to them. And that's important. That's my pattern. That's important for me to go to that state of being because I'm speaking so much. But there's a time to speak and a time to sit your mouth. Just shut up. There's a time to share with others all that you know, and then there's a time where I say, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna do, girl. What you gonna do? Because really and truly, your reflections, they already have the answers. Like everything that I said to you all, the reason why you correlate with the message so is because you subconsciously already have these answers. I'm just igniting that spark and allowing you to remember. Because we all tapped into the same intelligence. It's just that, oh, she or he helps me to remember. I get that so much from my girlfriends. They tell me, you know what I love about you the most? You keep me in alignment with my spiritual self. You keep me on course. You keep reminding me of powers of, 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 of spirituality that I really know to be true. So, so we just we just remembering. It ain't like this is this is some 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 new because behold there's nothing new underneath the sun. We just remembering who we are. So that makes me feel good when I go away. Like it makes me feel good knowing that. Uh, so when in my absence, collective consciousness ain't go nowhere. In my absence, there are other reflections just like me that could help my reflections remember. There's songs, there's music, there's there's this, you know billboards. They they know other people. They can tap into their inner being. They have their higher self. They have thoughts. They have frequency, vibration, they have everything. They have the innate ability to tap in with or without my voice. Because <laughs> all they got to do is remember. All they got to do is ask the question. And then their self-conscious mind, they have all the answers to this thing, yeah. Don't forget to take care of your self-reflection. Sending you love and light. Hey T, thank you so much. I love your spirit. Thank you. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Eat right. Think right. <laughs> Just be right. And there you go. You done, you done took care of yourself. Take care of your thoughts. Because your thoughts run in this show. Mindfulness is that. Be mindful of your thoughts. And I'm so, I'm so happy that in this place, in this state of being, that I'm so mindful of my thoughts. You know, when I worked in corporate America, you know, maybe if you have a job, you can relate to this. You have deadlines on the job. You have to be in this meeting and that meeting. Maybe you had to present a presentation before the board. And oftentimes in, in, in the workforce, you, you get stressed. You get stressed from having to be all of these things in, on your job. But your, 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 your so-called take from that would be receiving a paycheck. But what good is a man that he profits with a paycheck but loses his soul? And a lot of people that's working and losing that through, due to stress and adrenaline fatigue that's sitting on the adrenal glands right above the kidneys. And so they have a weakness in their body, their immune system. Because keep in mind, inflammation ignites when you are at this ease with yourself. This is why stress is a silent killer. This is why being in alignment is so important because when at your best, you stay healthy when you're in alignment. And so you maybe went through this here on a job. Don't take that same thought process to the spiritual world. Walk away from Walk away. Hey, V, come on, talk about it. Walk away from that thing. Walk away from that thing. Don't, don't, this, this will never be a thing that I'm stressed about. This will never, that I don't try to come on here ever to keep up with no algorithms. No, no, I only come on when I'm inspired. This time, I just so happen, I just want to let you see this part of me where I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm happy. I feel good. But I'm walking away to suck with me. 
I don't care about what's going to happen to the locks while I'm in here. I don't care about, oh, this other creator probably get more follows than me while I'm not here. I don't care about those things. I don't care about the number of supporters or followers that I have on any of these apps. I don't care. You know what I care about the most? Me. <laughs> you know what I want you to care about the most? You. I don't care if you're in a relationship. You know who in that relationship I want you to care about? You. Because if you're not good for you, you're never going to be good for them. <laughs> never. I want you to hear that. I want you to hear that. So like I said, if anybody wants to um, purchase, this is the going to be the last day for a couple of weeks. And um, and I know I I, I'm, I know because I'm gonna carry you all with me in my heart. I'm gonna carry you with me day in and day out in my heart. And um, I know you'll be fine because I'm gonna carry you with me while I'm in alignment, while I'm in perfect alignment with my inner being, every last one of you, because I feel connected to every last one of you. I'm so thankful for every last one of you from the day that. I started this page that cheered me on and wanted to hear more of my voice. When I really, the reason why my name is God is just be on this platform. I would love to purchase some product. Yeah, you can. When I come back, you can. Thank you for sharing your light. I'm running the likes up. Oh, thank you, Ashley. When I first came, for those of you who probably knew to hear my voice, when I first came here, it was after I had deleted my, um, take, not my TikTok, my um, Facebook page. Pages, rather, because I had like three. I had over 100 something thousand, but I got to the place in my journey where, where I had spoke so much about spirituality and I felt like I was complete. Like I felt like kind of like what I'm talking about, but here, but I'm not going to delete this page, but I felt like, you know what, these people in the physical reality, they all need, and just like I got it without a version of me, they going to get it too, because they have to go through their own motions. So I deleted my, um, Facebook pages. And I came here to take time. And the reason why my name is called God is just be is because I was going to just be a person that was just looking at my reflections just grow. And I wasn't going to open my mouth no more. That's what I said. I wasn't going to speak no more. But I began to like the app. And I used to, in the beginning, I used to do little skits and stuff like, right? I began to do little skits and little funny things. Um, you know, little voiceovers and stuff like that. And it was just fun. It was something to do. But then I started once again, you know, because <laughs> see, you can't run from you. I started once again talking or speaking from my heart. And then I, you know, my videos just here just started going viral about health and wellness, about mindfulness, about spirituality. And I was like, you know, here I go again. I found myself in the momentum of doing that again, you know, talking and inspiring, then going live and still talking to the people. Because it's my heart. You know, I could, people could only give you what's inside of them. So when you go to the twerking page lady, the lady that's twerking on, you know, grabbing the wall, she's giving you what's inside of her. She's giving you what she know, you know. When people, you know, you know, when they when they looking for conspiracy theories, when they when they when they talking about different foods or whatever, they giving a part of themselves what they know. And I only can give you consciousness. I, I could only give you stuff. Um, you know, that's going to edify your church, so to speak. That's going to be good for your soul because that's the, that's the journey that I'm on. You know? That's the journey that I'm on. It just ha so happens that that journey that I'm on can help you with your health too. And can help you with relationships. But for the bulk of my message is helping you with your soul. Your expansion. Because that's the only thing in this physical reality that means everything to me. It means everything. <laughs> so with that being said, I came to take down and open my mouth and here I am again. Now with, with supporters who I love to talk to, but even in my love to talk to you, even in my creation, even in my products that I create to share with you, I would let nothing separate me from the love of God that is within me. And that's from the love of my inner being, the love of myself. Now 
you could look at that as if you need to give your love to other people. I don't look at it like that. I need to give my love to me. <laughs> okay. I need to give my love to me. And I will forever give my love to me. And that's why I have so much to give. That's why I've created so much. That's why a parts of me can be here, there, and everywhere. Mentoring, consulting, creating, shipping, receiving, take job. Yes, that's why when you become conscious, you have this big stream of energy and consciousness that's just touching people every which way. But I'm choosing consciously this day. <laughs> See, this is, this is symbolic to the biblical text when the Christ conscious one say, no, 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 you didn't take my life from me. I laid it down. And if I laid it down, I can pick that thing back up again. So I'm picking up all of my energy, all of my little scraps, and I'll be gone for a little while. But I'll be back, and we'll, we'll catch up where we left off. In the meantime, stay in alignment with yourself. Remember, you can be, do, or have anything in this physical reality when you put your mind to it. And so, so behold, this sets a tone for you to practice mindfulness on your own. This sets a tone for you to not just be a, just a listener of all of the things that I, I, I spoke life into you on. But now, you can be a doer. And don't get the doer part misconstrued. The doing is just being it. Being it. Make you proud while you be in it. Be the love that you want. Embody it. Be the joy that you want. Embody it. Quantum jump to that thing. And that way when I return, you'll be proud of you. Because you stayed true to you. And you tapped in to your inner being. Okay, y'all gonna stay tapped in, right? <laughs> y'all gonna stay tapped in, right? Because I'm gonna be tapped in. Y'all gonna stay tapped in, right? Okay. I love y'all so much. Because I know you me. At different levels. I know you me. And all your soul wants is expansion. So go on and expand. Expand your mind. So I'm about to go. It's bittersweet, but I'll be back soon. I'll be back. You all take care of yourself. Once again, this video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, baby. Bye. <laughs>